everybody, new video from Big Apple Pipes. As I mentioned at the end of the video last week of the Burnick Lake, I have started surf skating. And again, and I know none of you cares, just in case there is anybody out there that is passionate about surf or snowboard. It's cool. It's cool. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the Exhausted Rooster by Coronel and Deal. Um, and this is just because, I mean, it's still quite warm here in New York, I have to say. Uh, so I really wanted to start smoking a few English mixers, but I like English mixer when it's cold. So I usually start smoking them during fall and winter, mostly. Uh, but yeah, it's still very warm. So I keep on my beloved Virginias. Um, and since I smoked the Burley Flake last week, I wanted to smoke the Agnostic Rooster, which is a Virginia Burley mix with a dash of Perik, as it says here, a dash. Very cool, a dash of Perik. Uh, so, anyway, um, again, very interesting. It's a flake cut. Uh, I only heard great things about this tobacco. It seems to be one of the long-standing blends from um, Corn Deal. It was launched at the Chicago Pipe Show back in 2018, and it was blended by the historical duo Craig Tarrer, Bon Rakowski. So, what can you say? Must be good. I'm sure it will be. Uh, the recipe is really the one that I like. That means Virginia Flakes with some Perique and maybe Burley. Um, yeah, so definitely very interested, very curious to trying it and see how it is. So let's go for the unboxing. Let's go. So this is the thing you may all know. I actually prefer the old one. Um, I think it was better looking. This is a bit too cartoonish for me, which is fine. I mean, it's fun. It's nice. We have this rooster, which is tired by his activity with all these, you know, chickens that are, you know, willing to get on. Very cool thing. This description, a tasty flake of Virginia's, dark fired burly, and a dash of peric. Blended especially for the Chicagoland Pipe Show years, and this was actually for 2008. The tin is from April 2021, so pretty fresh. I have just popped it for the Italian version of the video, and this is how it looks like. It is actually pretty beautiful. Uh, some of the flakes uh, are have been you know destroyed, probably you know during transportation or the fact that I kept it into my bag. It's a very light brown, very nice, but what's surprising is the smell, because it's very tangy, zesty, and sweet. So you can barely detect the uh, cocoa coffee note of the Burley, uh, really smells only like pure Virginia's, and that's it, very sweet, very interesting. You definitely do, do not detect the uh, flavor, the smell of Perique. But again, so very promising. Uh, it is humid, but not too much. Yeah, it's fine. Um, humid, but not too humid. Um, and yeah, that's it. Very promising. Um, I think I'm gonna like it, but let's see. Because I really, you will never tell. This is there is Berlin here because it really smells sweet and fruity. So very cool. Let's go. So about this exhaust, sorry, exhausted rooster. I'm here on the High Line walking today. It's a great, great day, very warm. Sorry, I'm moving around because I mean the, the reason why I, I don't usually uh, do videos in very famous New York spot is because it's always so crowded. You know, I really want to take people. I mean, usually people are okay, but you never know. Anyway, so talking about this from the High Line, that if you don't know, it's this. Unbelievable example of you know urban recovery. Can we call, call it like this? Of this you know old uh, rail line that was about to be demolished and then instead was you know recovered and become this you know um, pedestrian walkway with this beautiful garden work. Unbelievable. It's very nice, but again, it's full of tourists all the time. So it is what it is. Roster Roster, very, very cool blend, very different from my expectations, and this is mainly because I was expecting something darker, you know, 
maybe fuller, even if it's not a light blend by any means, but I was definitely expecting something fuller, maybe because I was coming, you know, from the uh, Burley Flake of McBarren, so I was expecting something that was more Burley forward, but in reality, I really think that this is the perfect example of a Virginia Burley mix. Um, and the perk, yes, it's there, but it's very, very light, just a nice touch every here and there, okay? So it's a lot about Virginia, very nice Virginias, very zesty, uh, lemon-ish Virginias, very nice. And then you have this, you know, brown, earthy, you know, nutty, coffee-ish note from the Burley. Very nice mix. Uh, medium body to me, medium also in terms of nicotine. Very nice, very easy to smoke. Beautiful, pleasant, um, very dry in the mouth, very sharp. Very, very cool. And the Perik, you just hear it here and there is a little spicy note that goes and completes the palette it's very very well made uh, very nice so yeah i really enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comments what is your experience uh because yeah now i really get why it is such a popular blend because it's a pretty pretty smart and very well made so yeah i i, I like it unfortunately i was not able to find you know the perfect pairing with the pipe um, it was pretty much the same in every pipe, so I was not able to really, um, you know, pair it with the right shape or brand. Sometimes it happened, you know. Uh, in this case, it was pretty much okay. Um, but unfortunately, you know, I have a lot of pipes back in Italy, so I still have the curiosity of trying it in a couple of pipes. Maybe I'll do it in the future. Who knows? Anyway, that's all for today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.